Okay, so now we are finally gonna clear out these annoying beetles. Not sure why I'm just making them all spring when I need to kill one and then make other ones spring, but uh I'm a maverick, I like doing things inefficiently. Yep, I mean, I still automatically do that just because I can. I automatically throw them when swarming would be more efficient. First, I really wish they took some damage when they weren't like that, because then I could just take 100 yellows and... That would be wacky fun times. Not sure why I think two heavily damaged ones are better than a dead one and a live one, but... Uh, it certainly seems to be what I do think. Okay, and finally it flipped over. Yeah, whatever, you weird amoeba flying butterfly thing. I don't really want your egg, but if you keep making that noise, I'll take it. So where did that beetle go? Purples are really the only good choice for these guys, but... I don't know, I might eventually luck out. Holy crap, that had a big thing in it. Oh, and it also kind of glitched out a little. That was not the best place for it to spawn, I guess. More nectar for my purples. Or purple. Yeah, you guys can carry those corpses back because that's a very efficient thing to do with my time. So, let's take back the Crystal King. I think that's what it's called. Oh, I think... I, if that is what it's called, it's a Paper Mario reference. I just noticed that. Or, theoretically, I just noticed that because I don't remember if it's called that or not. Oh, let's see. We will see very, very shortly. Do, 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 do. Yep. It is a Paper Mario reference, or at least I assume that um, Miyamoto, or, or I assume the NOA localization team that did this was in contact with whoever localized Paper Mario enough for that to be a reference and not just a coincidence, although it could have been a coincidence even without being a reference because he seems to call a lot of things titles of royalty and weird names like that, but... Okay, talking and I can't stop. I guess that's kind of better than not being able to talk in a Let's Play, but only marginally. Nothing over here. Well, it'll be used as a safe spot if this cave keeps up how it's looking. Ah! Don't come over here, purple. Okay, that was... Okay, oh, oh, my, oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So, sadly, purples are still the best scavenging type Pikmin, so I'm going to use them. I'm not sure why it's sad, but I'm going to use them and probably spawn bombs, and they're kind of slow, but fast enough to outrun a speeding bomb. What is this? It is a treasure and a bomb! Why did that not surprise me? Okay, good job at being distracted, Pikmin. I thought you were going to be a dead Pikmin. I wonder how much is in this level. It doesn't appear to be very big. Pop, pop. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz, something, something. I never saw an alka seltzer commercial. Um. Alright, 34 whites should do a decent job at unearthing this. I, don't, I wonder if they dig faster because that's their trait. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's some kind of a plant, I think. Oh, it's another asparagus. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a diglet. A pointy diglet. No, it's a pine nut or some weird thing like that. Anxious sprout. I have absolutely no idea what that is. But anyway, that was the only treasure on this sub-level, apparently. I'm not gonna complain with that. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty, pretty, pretty short cave. I'm not sure I said pretty, 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 pretty because I'm not even pretty sure. I'm definitely not sure it's pretty, pretty, pretty short. It's maybe it might be a short cave, but not pretty, pretty, pretty short. Yeah, that's not a... <gasps> okay, so I think this is like the level that yellow candy pop buds sometimes spawn on, and if they don't, you're screwed for the rest of the game, and you'll never get them in your picky decks. Um, I'll take 
no, I'll keep the yellows, because yellows are important, and I'll take two reds. Okay, fine, plenty of reds. And I don't need any more reds, and I already molested a red candy pop bud, so I'm good here. Okay, so what is going on back there? Fire, um, okay, fire is the element of purple. I'm not going to take you new recruits. You can prove yourself after you've scavenged some nectar. Uh, or at least after I found some nectar that you can steal. Yeah, that whole stunning thing kind of makes him overpowered. The homing is okay, the ten times the strength of an average Pikmin, but the stunning just is really what breaks them. Those things wake up easily, but not that easily, evidently. Not easy enough to tell that its mate was being raped. I don't know, purple Pikmin are kind of like silent assassins. Okay, that worked. That worked. Can I have you guys over here before you blow up? That was... I think I have enough nectar now. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Not sure how many treasures in this. There's that mysterious skull. Missing link. More like evolution is a lie and the scientists are disagreed on it. So the best part about facts and empirical evidence is they, you can just make them up to support your theories, right? And the other thing about scientists is they have an agenda just like the gays, right? Other agenda seems to be perpetuating evolution for no reason because it's totally a flawed theory to anyone who is not a theologian. Is there anything in here? No. Anyway, I should probably not talk about wacky politics in a Pikmin game, but I don't know. There was a skull there. Skulls are also wacky politics. Are skulls real? Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that you just have, like, jello inside of you, and that is why you don't die if you get hit by a jello truck and the jello truck isn't moving. Um, Eternal Emerald Eye. That is a pretty cool thing. I like how the things that are actually valuable don't seem to have a very much, very much difference and how much they give you. Okay, you guys take all this stuff back. And I could give each one of these their own nectar and they'd be able to use it, but no sense in doing that. Don't teach the poor recruits to be wasteful. This could be moving a little faster, I presume. Uh, I presume, hey. And I believe that is it. Whoa, an egg fell from the sky. That's like the least bad thing to fall from the sky. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the last thing in this cave. I can't imagine much else. Uh, it looked like the skull was backward. It looks weird. Ah, it's Blue Badger. Okay, let's go down here. I think this might be the boss sub-level. I mean, if it is, I can probably beat Emperor Ball Black. Oh, wait, they are called Ball Blacks in this? Were they called Ball I swear, for some reason, I thought they lost the L. I have absolutely no idea what I was thinking. Maybe it was Emperor Ball Blacks in Pikmin 1. And I have no idea what I was thinking. Maybe my Prima guy told me the wrong name for it. That's probably the most likely thing that happened. Anyway, I could definitely beat him with the time left, but I'm not going to. Next part, we will beat Emperor Ball Blacks and see if he is quite as hard as he was in Pikmin 1. Anyway, bye.